Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's a nice, balmy evening here in June in Florida. But I wanted to do a quick aquaponics aquaponics update. And I wanted to talk about a few things you may be having problems with if you had to try to run Dutch buckets. Um, and that's your lines getting clogged. Now, I have pretty decent filtration. Could it be better? Sure. But um, for the price, which is, you know, too much low end, uh, it does pretty well but you know algae starts to go in the tank which shouldn't be as big as a problem once I get the tilapia put in there uh, to start eating up some of that algae um, but anyways let me just show you a problem that you can run into I got an easy fix but it's it's one I get tired of doing so you know as far as for me aquaponics the main thing I want to do is feed the fish and make it as maintenance free as possible so that's what I'm always striving to do uh, but let me just show you what's happening so hold on a second That old faithful down there but anyways if you notice I got these spaghetti lines running into the buckets which you know is a good way to feed the water but let me just show you what's happening on the pineapple you see that it's just dripping out of there now I don't have a um, uh, somebody else to hold the camera but basically what I do to fix that is I have me a little coat hanger there, a copper coat hanger to straighten out and it fits right in the spaghetti line. And I just go in there a couple of times and it usually cleans it out. But that's still getting old. Because you know, actuality I gotta do it probably every day, you know. And sometimes uh yeah like see I just did this one not too long ago. That's why this pepper is looking so bad. Uh this tomato is still running good. Some lines run better, I don't know why they get uh, clogged up more than others um, some lines do than others but I want to come up with another way because this is for the birds uh, so if you got any suggestions I would sure enough appreciate it about uh, you know not necessarily I got a compressor too I can blow them out but it doesn't seem to matter maybe if I could put me an inline filter on the water line that would probably work but that's more than I want to deal with I would just as soon come up with a different delivery system but I'm trying to get enough where it doesn't take a big pump you know I got one pump running everything the two big tanks this um, and that does pretty well and it's been running for a long time as a matter of fact I want to give a review on that pump pretty uh, one of the next couple of videos because that thing's been running straight 24 7 for well over a year now and I've actually ran it dry not dry but real low it's sucking air a few times and it still keeps right on kicking but anyway, so what I think I'm going to do is I want to make another, maybe have a small pipe with a, a neck down when it goes into these buckets. Um, and that should eliminate the problem, hopefully. Another thing I've started doing in this time around and I'm going to continue to do is you see how last year, and I've had previous videos where you have the bucket and you pull it out and you got that big old cluster of roots there, which is fine, no problem. But on my newer setups here, I'm going to be uh, using them just full of rock, no tops. It gives more bio, uh, bio media area there for the bacteria to grow. Plus, you know, the buckets themselves. Before it was like getting like a sauna in there with the air, and just the, the bucket to to, um, to keep the air from. Uh, or you know, like I said, like I showed you right here, you see all the empty. Oh, not that one. Excuse me all the empty air space in there all these buckets will get hot as heck and we've been having 90 degree days so you know, that's not good for the roots of the plants this tomato is looking a little scraggly but what it is is actually a cutting off another tomato that's how I pretty much do them all the time now I just cut one start another one so anyways guys that's the update for June right now that's what we got going on I'm going to come up with a way to actually get the water to these buckets more efficiently use as less pump power as possible and if you have any suggestions on that, hey, I'd love to hear from you. Oh, one other thing, too. If you want to see a pretty good Dutch bucket style, which I think I'm going to be incorporating, go check out Brock Hughes' channel. Uh, he does his Dutch buckets. You see how I got my drain coming out there? Well, he's got his coming out the bottom, and I think that's a very cool idea. Um, and I'm going to be snagging that from you, Brock, maybe to use it some. Give us some trials and see what's going on there. And maybe even running doubles. So that way, I can just lift the bucket out, clean it. I know it's, it'd be seven dollars a bucket, you know, a, a plant area instead of the normal 
four dollars or whatever it is but i think it'll be worth it in the long run a lot easier you know i'm all about when it comes to this stuff the easier and the less complicated of course but the easier it is to maintain the better the better it's going to be all around you know while i'm talking about this little tomato here sorry guys get all the tangent this tomato plant here you know this is actually a volunteer i had my rocks over there in a pile from last year when i cleaned out the barrels and i filled up the buckets here and i had a um i had a kale in here and this little tomato started coming up and i know it's from one of those because it's the roma tomatoes i can tell and uh so that's really cool extra bonus and it's doing awesome so anyways hey that's the update guys appreciate it go check out rock's dutch bucket build with the the buckets in the or the drain in the bottom and uh We'll get back to you. I'm going to show you, come up with another video too, talk to you about the tilapia that I got going on. Showed you a video a couple weeks ago, show you the growth, it's pretty darn good. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, go ahead and like, click, subscribe, comment, hate, whatever. But uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it guys. Y'all have a good one. Bye.